Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My voice is so raspy today, I couldn't even get that out. <clears throat> so today we did a graphic liner look. My friend Brooke, whose Instagram will be up on the screen, asked me if I could do a graphic liner look. Now, let's talk about this. I've never done graphic liner. I don't have the steadiest of hands, so this look was extremely challenging for me. All in all, I think it pulled together. I don't hate the look. I'm not the biggest fan of the look, but we were just testing out the products. So let's talk about what we used today. So of course I went in with my neon pigment stack just because I felt like it was totally necessary, but this is not what we came here for. We came here for these Sheen Epic liners these pastel liners. Um, these are so cool. If my camera would focus. These are so cool. Um, I'm obsessed. These are amazing liners. They take a while to get used to only because I've never worked with liner like that. You know, I'm just like, oh, throw on a wing and call it a day, you know. But just a little bit about these. These are $6 each, I believe, and you can buy them in a bundle for like $30 and you get four shades or you can up the bundle, you know, build your own bundle and the price obviously goes up. But these are UV pastel water activated liners and oh my God. I'm so happy I bought these. These are my most favorite thing in my entire collection. These are bomb. These are so stinking cool. If you're like a raver or you like going to black light parties or whatever, these are going to be amazing for you. These are going to be amazing for anybody, let's be honest. These are so damn good. They are pigmented. They are bright. I mean, they're water activated. It's so easy. They're just easy to work with. They're easy to use. It takes a little bit of getting used to just the practice, you know, of not having shaky hands. But other than that, like these are so amazing. I want to buy more and I'm probably going to. Also, you will see at the end of the video what else these liners can do. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in the thumbnail, but still it is so stinking cool just to see it like actually happening. So. If you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm just going to throw this out there. This isn't the best <laughs> makeup look I've done. Um, I kind of just wanted to test the products. I've never done graphic liner before, and it was actually kind of challenging. So we're not here to judge the makeup look. We're just here to judge the products, okay? So don't come for me. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe concealer with the white one because I really want these colors to pop. They pop on their own, the liners do, but the neon pigment, I want it to really pop as much as it can. And then I'm just gonna blend that out, keeping most of the focus of that white on the lid. And then with whatever's left over, I'm just gonna drag that up. I'm gonna take the yellow from my neon pigment stack. I'm gonna put that right here. And then I'm gonna take the orange and we're just gonna to start to blend that in with that yellow. This part was quick and easy just because I wanted to get some color on there that I knew would pop, but it was the liners, man. The liners just threw me for a loop. They're great liners, don't get me wrong. They are wonderful. I'm completely obsessed with them, but doing graphic liner, man, that's pretty rough. And then I'm gonna take my pink pigment, put this on the outer corner, and I'm going to wing it out. So 
So that's pretty much what we want for our base. It's just quick, it's easy, it just gets some color down so there's something behind the liners. So now for the liners, I am so excited. I'm gonna go in with polka dot and it is just this pastel, gorgeous pink color. And they're water activated, so I'm gonna go in with my Evian water and just spritz a little bit in there. You don't need much water, these go a very long way. And then all you do is you just mix the water around in there and pick up some product. And I'm going to start my line. I'm gonna go about halfway on that line. This eye is probably gonna come out so much better than the other eye. Just because I've worked with them and I kind of know how they like I have a feel for them now, so it's okay. We're again, we're not here to judge the look. We're here to judge the the liners. So then I'm gonna go in with the shade ice cream, and this is the green one, and just the same process, just spritzing it, mixing it up. Because I have so much powder down on my eye, um, I find that these work better when you let them dry and then you go in with another coat. And then I took the blue shade, which is an ocean blue. And I just w wung that out. I just wung that out. <laughs> Already this eye is looking so much better than this eye. That's annoying, but it's fine. Then I took the shade Mellow, and this is the yellow. So I'm gonna take that yellow, and then I'm gonna go all the way around this top line. This was not easy. This part is very difficult. I think if I had a smaller brush, it wouldn't be so bad. But this is the smallest one that I have, so I just have to make it work. I'm gonna clean it up, of course. I'm not just gonna leave it like this, but. Yeah, it's looking pretty rough right now, but uh, we're going to let it dry. We're going to clean it up, as always. So, I'm going to go back in with Ocean Blue, and then I'm going to line my lash line with this. this eye coming out so much better that is so frustrating and then I'm gonna take my tattoo liner from Kat Von D KVD whatever um, I would use my elf one but I've been finding that when I line my my lash line with it it's starting to like bleed out and the tip isn't such a fine point like this one is, and I really need to get in there and get this line thin and crisp. So I'm going to go on top of that blue. pretty good but I am gonna go back in with that blue and just clean up the edges of that black that's the good thing about these liners is they cover up really really well they go over black like way better than I was expecting them to So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go over this line right here and then clean it up. And then I will come back and we will finish up the rest of this look. Because I need a lot of time and a lot of patience to clean this up. So, be right back. Okay, so we are back. I look absolutely insane, <laughs> but I think it's pretty cool. So what I did was I took a pair of Ardell Wispy Lashes and I just coated them with the NYX White Liquid Liner and then I just, once that dried, I took yellow from the Sheen pigment and I just painted it on there with a brush. Just to add a little bit more pizzazz to this look. I think it actually came out kind of cool. And then I left the bottom just plain. I just did the same thing with my fake lashes as I did on the bottom lashes. And um, I added Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Party Girl on my lips. I wanted a bright lipstick for this and this is one of the brightest that I have. And I just topped it with Buxom Lip Gloss in Kimberly. But let's get a close up and I also have a little surprise for you guys with this look. So let's get a close up. Okay, let me see if I can turn my lights down and show you what else these liners can do. So let me turn off some lights. So I turned my ring light off, it is so dark in here, but check this out. How cool is that? They're UV reactive, that is amazing. That looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Look at that. These are the coolest liners ever. I'm sorry, but that is like one of the most badass things I have ever seen. I think these liners are so freaking cool. They are definitely the, one of the coolest things that I have in my collection. I am so happy I bought these. I wish I would have gotten more, and I probably will order, order more, but my god, did they take forever to get here. It took almost a month for them to get here. The longest, the longest time. I feel like this look is like a raver's dream. <laughs> like if you go to parties that have black lights, well, not right now, but if you do, these will probably be your best friend. These are so freaking cool. I'm not like the most, I'm not like the biggest fan of the look that I did. I mostly just wanted to try out the liners and see how they perform and everything. I mean, it's not like the worst. I've just never done graphic liner before, so it was definitely very challenging for me. But all in all, I think it came out really, really cool. I'm living for these liners. I want to get more. I only bought four of them, but I'm pretty sad. I wish I would have got the purple, but I only got four of them. But other than that, I think that's really all I have to say. I mean, I think the look speaks for itself, and then the UV light was awesome. But anyways, um, yeah, this is the final look. What do you guys think? Are you going to buy these? Like, I totally would. I would jump on these so quickly. I did. I did jump on these really quickly. But anyways, I'm going to stop flapping my gums over here. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Don't forget to comment down below and turn on your post notifications. Follow me on my social medias. I'm going to try and link those in the screen, but if not, they will be linked down below. But there is nothing else I have to say except I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!